In this video, I'll walk you through the odd case where you want to copy formulas and keep all the original references without using absolute references. Most other guides show you several ways of doing this. I only show you the best way so you don't waste your time. Let's go. Casper from Spreadsheeter here and to the left we have some sales data and some details regarding some specific sales orders. Now some of these columns are formulas these ones and I want to copy them into the section to the right over here. The problem is that when I do this the normal way all these mess up because they are relative references and they change when I move or copy the cells. So I can't do it like this. So let's just delete this and the first step of actually doing this the right way is to understand that you can do this with one cell first. So double click a cell and select this hit Control C or Command C on a Mac, double click this cell to go in here and hit Control V and enter. Now this formula references the correct cell in the left data set. The reason for all this double clicking is that you want to go inside the cell and copy what's in there and insert it inside a cell. You don't want to copy the entire cell with the formatting and all the frameworks that Excel put up for that. So you just want to copy what's inside the cell and that's why it works here. Now this works for one cell and it works all the time. It's a pretty good method but if you have multiple cells like this you want to have a quicker method of doing so. But the same principle applies to step two that is you show all the formulas. Go in the formulas tab and hit show formulas, toggle that on and all the columns are super wide. Nothing new happened except that when you zoom out it's easy to see that. But basically instead of showing the result, the formulas show the formulas. So you can see the formulas itself. If you like this video so far, please consider subscribing by clicking the button below so you don't miss my next videos. So far so good, but now for step three you want to copy these cells by selecting them and hitting Control C on a Windows, Command C on a Mac, simply typing note or notepad. Uh, after hitting the Windows key, hit enter to open notepad and I'm gonna drag it onto this screen here and insert all the formulas. And I'll tell you what to do with that in a bit. I bet you spend a good amount of time in a spreadsheet every week. It's a good investment to improve your skill level a bit so you can work more efficiently with Excel and save time both for you and for your colleagues every week. You'll learn how to do so in my free online 30 minute training that adapts to your skill level. That means you only learn stuff that's relevant to you and not something that is way beyond or way below your current level. If you want to check that out, click the link or go to spreadsheeto.com slash YouTube to enroll for free. Now after you've inserted the formulas here using the shortcut uh, control V if you're on a Windows and command B if you're on a Mac, you need to move to step four where you select all the formulas again, hit control C or command C to copy and go into the Excel file again. You can toggle off the show formulas here if you don't want to watch that anymore. Go here and hit Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac like this. And now all the formulas have been copied while retaining their original references like this. Pretty amazing, huh? The YouTube algorithm thinks that this video is a good fit for you. It's usually right. So if I were you, I'd click it and at least find out. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Got it.